west. Is that what the Muslims are doing to the west now? So they're migrating. Yeah. Kill the people of the book. Doesn't it say, your book say, at the end of the days, the rocks and the trees will speak, and that they will say, look behind me, there's our Jew hiding, come and kill him. And you say that Jesus will return and, and break the cross and kill the pigs. I'm saying. Okay, I'll give the mic to you now, so I want you to answer one question. The question to you now, so is, do you believe that at the end of the days, the rocks and trees will speak and uh, they will be hiding Jews and it's you, you are going to go and kill them? Is that what you believe now, so are we just waiting for you to turn into a terrorist? Anyway, uh, yes, sorry, this Scotty. There is no migration now, only jihad. Okay, hello. Okay, let me talk here. As I told you, you asked 200 questions at the same, at same time, yeah? The first question was jihad, so don't run to another one, because the Christian cannot hear, they want to to say something and run. So you have to listen to this, okay? The first uh, you say about jihad, okay? So let us stay in jihad, not another story but this. Why this and the Quran, why that? Because one by one we can understand everything. If I am correct or you, okay? We are Muslim, you say the Quran saying this, okay? So I agree with you with that, okay? The reason is coming this verse. Can you tell me what is the reason that this verse is coming? Tell me, please. If you don't know, I teach you. Thank you. Answer me that. Because you read the verse and you don't know what has happened. Good. Okay, answer that. I wasn't going to take the mic, but just very quickly. What is jihad for? To take territory, to take slaves, to take booty. That's why the chapter 8 of the Quran is titled plunder or booty or goods what is jihad for to kill people to take their booty to take the women that is what jihad is and territory to conquer piracy now so next time okay you don't answer me I don't ask why, what do you think about jihad? I don't ask what do you think, because you are Christian, you don't like that, I know that. I ask you, when this verse is coming, what the Muslim believe, why is this verse coming? At which time, at who, why? Tell me that from Quran of the Islam story. So thank you. I don't ask about Christian, why they explain to me. I ask you from Islamic way. Why is this first coming in that time? Please answer that if you are a good Christian. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a comment real quick. Uh, I think Namsa was fixing to go to the area of, um, he was saying that there's, um, Jesus promoted Jehide. Uh There's nowhere mentioned that Jesus promoted that. Maybe he got this from the scripture where, Jesus said, um, I didn't come to set peace on an earth, but a sword. But he wasn't referring to natural violence. He said a man's household will be those of his, a man's enemies will be those of his own household. Talking about when he, oh, sorry, sorry. Talking about when, um, when a person gave his heart to the Lord, there would be opposition. There would be opposition. Uh, on the other hand, uh, you remember when Jesus was being taken captive by the Romans to his crucifixion, Peter jumped up in a fit, smote the Roman soldier, cut his ear, his ear off with a sword, and Jesus said, no, don't do that. A man that lives with a sword shall die with a sword, and he picked up the man's ear and healed him supernaturally and made it everything made everything okay. What does Ephesians say? Ephesians says, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, or in other words, with people, but with principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world. What does Jesus say to do in regards to our enemies? To love our enemies, to do good to those that hate, that hate us, to pray for those that despitefully use us. 
and persecute us, that we may be the children of our Father which is in heaven. For he makes the sun to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the just and the unjust. The Sermon on the Mount, he says what? To turn the other cheek, to do good to people, to be kind-hearted, to be tender-hearted. This is all in Ephesians, and the book of Colossians. It's all throughout the, the scripture. There's nowhere in the scripture that Jesus promoted jihad. The only type of jihad he promoted was a spiritual one against evil, against demonic bondage, against injustice, but never in a physical way to go hurt someone physically. Okay, hello. I want to, uh, so what is the What's the problem, Mr. Nemso? What are you jumping the mic, man? We have some uh, rules here in this room, you know. Why you jump the mic? You know, you know what the problem is. No, I'm not your dad. You can't even call me your friend in Islam, you know. So watch, watch what you're saying. You can't even call me your friend in Islam. Okay. Um, so who was on the mic, Scotty? Was it your mic? Can you type a one? Okay, let me see. No, oh, Sautron's mic. Okay, your mic, Sautron. Okay, um, I hope everybody can hear me. Um, Nam, so.